Hi friends, it's Susan Smith with Steam Creatively. I have bottles of happiness and I have a happy card. So I want to show you how I put this together and what I really like about this. And then, um, oh, this is left over from last time. We'll put that out of the way. That was the last video I did. But I really like this bottles of happiness in the punch. So let me show you what I created with it. I'm using the Stamparatus. I cut my cardstock. This is the um, Parakeet Party. I'm using it in colors. I'm using the in color note cards and envelopes. Parakeet Party Whisper White. Two and three quarters by four and three quarters and three by five for the parakeet. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch my bottle first. I saved all my little bottle parts and put them over there so I could use them for something else. So this, I lined this up, punched my, and I punched it over to the left a little bit. I lined it up. You can line this up so the flowers are like right on top of your bottle. So then I took my magnets and I'm going to put them across the bottom and then up in this corner. I inked, this is our new um, sweet sorbet. So I inked all of my flowers with the sweet sorbet. And then at my camps, I took our little jars and I cut up one of my chamois and I use it to wipe off stamps and stuff. But I want to wipe off some of the sorbet. from this stamp. There's some berries out here that I don't want bright, bright sorbet. So I'm going to stamp this down. Then I took my Starry Sky new in color marker and I'm going to go over those things that I wiped off just a little bit because you can see some of the image on there. I'm going to stamp it down. And then I've got some two-tone things going on here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wipe these off again. And then I'm going to add my Orchid Oasis. I'm still learning the colors. I have to look. By the time they're done in two years, I'll have it down pat. I'm going to go over these with this Orchid Oasis. And I'm going to stamp it back down. Look how pretty they are. They have all these different colors in them. I like it. Okay, now I'm going to move this. And I'm going to take my parakeet. And ink my leaves and then right through the middle of this are the insides of these flowers so I'm going to take my little shimmy and go over those too. I'm going to close this down and add my leaves and I wanted to use all these in colors because I'm using the in colors note cards and envelopes. So there's all my leaves. They lined up beautifully. And then I took my mango stamp and write marker and kind of colored in some of these centers. Instead of going back and trying to hit it again, this was easy enough to do it this way. So that's how I put those in. Now I'm going to 
this is done. Move my Stamparatus out of the way. If you don't have one of these, I like mine. So what I did now is I want to add the bottle, but I also want to add a bow to it. So I took my, this is the new in color ribbon, and we were, Stampin' Up! limits us at the beginning as to what we're allowed to order. And this, it's called Metallic Woven Ribbon. I like it so much, I've used up all I'm allowed to have <laughs> until the catalog goes live. I don't have any more. It's just such pretty colors, and it just, it's just happy colors. Everybody likes a little happy. So what I did here was I took the ribbon, and I folded it in half, and I stuck it through this little hole. Then I took my bottle, and rustled it, because I want it to go in like this. So I can tie that on top of there. So now I'm going to take the sticky part off the bottle. And do it again. Come on. It's like this is one of those times you, if you just have one extra hand. your ribbon. Okay, that's the wrong one. Okay, so I stuck that down. My bottle's stuck on there. Now I need to add my beads. To add my beads, I put them in this handy dandy little container and poured, and that way all those extra beads just went in that container. So I filled my jar nice and full. And then I took a piece of vellum to put on the back. So I'm going to take this off. It comes off real easy when you're not on camera. When you're on camera and people are looking at you, it doesn't come off. Okay, fine. I don't have fingernails. I know some people can function with them. I've just never had fingernails. So, I'm going to snip this. So, sometimes I use my You Pick tool to be my helpful friend. I'm going to pull this off. not to lose my party beads. I'm going to put this right back in there because I'm going to put a piece of vellum right on the back. So I've got my vellum right there on the back. Perfect! Okay, so I'm going to move my beads out of the way. Again, I don't want to be messy. Gosh, I didn't stick it down all the way. User error. Not product error, user error. I made about six of these yesterday, and I didn't do this once. Again, when you get on camera, if it's going to go south, it's going to go south while you're on camera. I mean, heaven forbid I lose a bead, right? Okay, they're back in there, and this is all sealed down. See, now they're going to stay. So I'm going to put this on my parakeet cardstock. Our in colors are so bright and happy this year. They make us all happy. Oh, okay, so I forgot. On this one, I ran it through the brick embossing folder. 
So this has some texture to it. I forgot, this one's smooth. And obviously attached on there crooked. <laughs> I forgot to emboss it. Oh well. I can't emboss it now. It's kind of raised in the middle. But I like to do different cards each time. So this one will be different because it's not embossed. How's that? So I'm going to tie this bow. Now my bottle has a bow on it. And then this is the next hardest part. Which color am I going to put it on? If I was live, I'd let you vote. I mean, it's hard to decide. I'm going to put it on now. I'm going to use that one. But in all the ones I did yesterday, if I used this color cardstock, I used a different color envelope. None of them matched because, I mean, why should it? I'm going to put this right on the front. And I know it's off-center. I did that on purpose. I feel like the flowers are a little shifted in the jar. And then these are my favorite embellishments. These are called glossy dots. And look at all these colors. And I, it's hard for you to see how beautiful they are, but they're like hologram and hologrammed. I don't know if that's the word or not. I'm going to put this center. So I added some beautiful glossy dots. Here you go, friends. I like the jars. So I mailed these to people. And I mailed them <laughs> with a package of, these jars seem to be a little bit thinner than ones we've had before. And when they've got the beads in them, they don't smash. So I think they'll mail okay. But as extra padding, I added some gummy bears to the envelope. It made it a little thick, I know. And it cost me a little bit extra, but I did this way my beads won't smash. And I'm sure my recipients will not complain. All right, friends, have a great day. Hopefully we'll get to steam together again soon. I'm really excited about the new product. I love this ribbon. I love these dots. The in colors are so pretty. So I hope you can join me again soon, and we'll create something else together. All right, have a good one.